What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Recently, DJ Academics, it appears, was drunk on a live stream going in on SZA and about how fat she was. I mean, just dragging her. And for some guys, it could have been entertaining. Like I said, there was a few good jokes in there. It was definitely overboard. All right. And let me just say this, you know, for academics, for all the money that he's he's made for, you know, he's big act and all that. It definitely a guy that's a translator in the game. I mean, you know, I don't know if the, if the guys are entertaining or if he seems like he's personally unhappy about certain things or insecure about certain things. Again, I don't know which one is true, but then again, he's on Twitch and somebody mentioned something about Erica Badu. All right. Now, Erica Badu, about five years ago, six years ago, she said that he looked like Jerry from Tom and Jerry. Okay. And it, it, it appears that that might've been just a joke. Let me actually try to play that clip here. And then I'm going to come back. I learned today that something I said left, um, actually triggered someone's really deep rooted, uh, trauma. They kept it bottled up for a while and it hurt them so bad. Had them out in these streets acting real. And in honor of that, let's go. <laughs> Baru on sale today, 5 p.m. You know it's rare and limited supply. So get yours today, 5 p.m. today, CST. I'm only putting up a few. They be talking about it everywhere. Now you can smell it. Peace. So that was a clip of her calling him, like I said, Jerry. And this is a time where academics were still on the come up. So he's he wasn't at that time big act like he is now. So he felt like she basically was trying to sun him and he didn't have any pull in the industry. So let me play what academics said recently about Erica Badu. And then I'm going to come back and play what she had to say. So oh all y'all the real about it. I see that follow me. I'm like, bitch, you following me. I don't f with you. I'm not in on no joke with you. You and your little Twitter following or whatever the f you got. Bitch, I'm up in here raving around Sage and all that type of shit. F y'all nigga. Y'all nigga have to show me now. I'm sorry. I've gotten to the point. Y'all got to show me. Y'all got to show me. Ack is at the point. You got to show me. You got to show me. If you don't show me, I'm, I'm going to disrespect y'all. You got to show me. You have to show. I promise you, you have to show me. I'm at the point. You have to show me. Bitch came in here waving on top of wands and shit. I'm trying to be nice to you. Now I realize, oh, you was trying to play me like I'm some clown. How many how many rappers done ran through you? None of you. Stop playing, nigga. How many young rappers you, you chase, nigga? I'm fuck them too. Stop playing, nigga. What you talking about? I'm not playing with none of y'all. That bitch mentioned me straight up. I'm telling you. I'm. All right, so let's play. Erica Badu's part. You, you know who you look like? You look like Jerry. The mouse from Tom and Jerry. Hold up. Dun, 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 I know you. <laughs> no, That's not right. I thought that was going. That. Okay, so let me just say this. DJ Academics feels now that he's more successful. And, you know, like I said, I, it seemed like he's drunk. He could just say these things about Erica Badu. You know, you've been getting pounded by these young guys. You know, you ain't shit no more. 
you're struggling and um okay what, whatever the case is right i don't i don't know why that's necessary because again everybody knows erica badu ain't nobody really checking for her like that as far as in relationships or whatever right yeah erica badu has his you know has hit what do we call on the red pill the wall she was dealing with that young guy jaron atkinson all of that right and i don't know why everybody feels like erica badu is gonna put some voodoo on somebody or whatever but again erica badu is a super talented artist very beautiful lady all of that but to go out and call her you know your old hoe you know you keep getting you know um banged by these dudes and I, obviously it seems like she was trying to sleep with xxx tentacion okay so because you know he's an industry guy but what does that have to do with a joke that came out five years ago? Why is that necessary to put her out? Because all you're going to do is, all they're going to start seeing is academics is disrespecting African-American women because they're going to pull that card. Because, you know, because I did academics again is a Jamaican American immigrant. And they're going to look at it like all you keep doing is you're talking about African-American women from our community. That's how they're gonna come out with it, right? Then, if you go too far, they're gonna try to get this dude, dude canceled. And I don't know why he feels like he's untouchable. He can do whatever he want, but bro, pride come before the fall. And one thing I'm gonna tell guys is, you're not gonna be able to come on the internet. I don't care what you do i've seen so many guys get deplatformed and make a career is this one thing to talk about a point of buffoonery but calling black calling black women old holes and bees and just silly things like that what is the point of all that i mean that's how you talk to a guy eric badu whatever i mean she 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 she's a good sport and game for it uh tasha k is about the only one i like to see get roasted to that sort of level because of what she does but scissor and all of this what bro you need to check yourself man and, and what i would say with the with, 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 with academics what he's done in the industry as a trendsetter look nobody can argue that but it seemed like that bro like like bruh it's just how much longer are you gonna keep doing this before these women start coming out there and be like, yo, you need to get you need to cancel. Now he is on Rumble. I don't know about Twitch. Rumble, he's probably gonna be alright on. You know, like I said, you got a good deal over at Rumble. But some of this stuff is too, is just it's 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 out of hand. And I don't really think that he's like this so much when he's not drinking. When he's not drinking, unless he really going back and forth for like Meg Thee Stallion and stuff like that. It's not an issue but to kind of come at her like after six years five years everyday struggle clip and it's that personal bro need to take care of herself like you know it's it's not that serious bro. it's not that serious and this ain't got anything to do with like you know i'm big act i got all the money yeah we know big act has all the money a academics has, we already know that we're not dealing with that but you're not gonna be able to keep doing shit like that for these women start trying to come after you, like talking about like it, like to this level, like it's it's on a whole nother level. This that like Tommy Sotomayor and me, and on the internet, I mean, come on now. You make it too much money. You got it how you want. I, they're not even worth talking about. That's my whole thing. Like they're not even worth talking about to that level. Erica Badu, everybody knows she's finished for the most part. And when it comes to things, ain't nobody worried about her. SZA, whatever. She want to go out there and look like that. Even the woman was was dragging SZA. It was it was incredibly bad. So, bro, don't mess your money up, man. Talking about these chicks, it's not worth it. Let them do them, man. And stick to what you've been doing. Getting all personal with these chicks, man. It's not even worth it at all, bro. And I want a lot of guys to understand that. You know, dudes like to see a, a a train wreck i've seen content creators fall into that roasting chicks you know you got chick, people in the chat Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. man it ain't worth all that 
It ain't worth all that. So guys, we think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.